Having spent nearly the last 10 years of my life using WordPress every single day, I started to wonder, is there something I'm missing by not hand coding my websites? And unfortunately, when you search that question, it's a very unsatisfying answer, which is that it depends. So to find out, I decided to hand code a site from start to finish, like a typical client website, to hopefully come away with the answer to that question, both for you and for myself. Hand coding a site is a bit abstract for me, and it's not something I've done since sixth grade in middle school. And back then we were using Dreamweaver, RIP. Over the years, I've learned the typical web programming languages, almost as though I were dropped onto a tropical island with people who didn't speak the same language as me. That brute force learning has amounted to a knowledge of HTML, CSS, and PHP, enough that I felt confident to take on the endeavor of coding my own personal website from scratch. This is the site that I built, and you can see that it's really live right now. You can go find it at jonathanjernigan.com. And of course, this isn't the most groundbreaking thing ever, but my goal wasn't to break the internet. I am pretty proud of some of the things that I accomplished, like the sticky sidebar nav that kind of detects what section you're on and has a little scale effect that's done with some basic JavaScript. But the reality of what most of us do is creating relatively simple client sites that have a couple of pages, a few templates, and maybe sprinkling in some dynamic content here and there. I'm obviously not blind to the fact that most websites need a myriad of plugins to achieve common functionality, but of course those are simply replacements for having hand-coded something yourself. And then pretty quickly the limitations of what I was doing started to hit me. What if I want to add a blog to this website? Well, I legitimately have no idea how to do that. Is this a completely manual process? Do you create these HTML elements statically? Is there some code library you drop in? It's not something that ever crossed my mind as a WordPress user. Need a blog inside WordPress? Here it is, ready for you, right out of the gate. And on my personal site at the very end, you'll notice there's no contact form, and that's not even a subject that I wanted to broach myself manually in the code. I will say the experience of hand coding the website was incredibly rewarding. There's so many things that I kind of had a vague understanding of and more or less took for granted when using WordPress, but I had to go look them up to get them exactly right in this hand coded version. Some examples of that are the meta tags for things like character set and viewport scale, small pieces of code that have a big impact that you're just simply not concerned with as a WordPress user. Another thing that struck me is all of the things you're not concerned about when you're using WordPress and page builders, things like linking your style sheets. I wrote things out from the top of my head that look like this when they were actually supposed to look like this. Another thing is managing your global styles for things like colors, typography, and fonts, as opposed to working with something like the Generate Press Customizer. It's of course a far more manual effort to do it in your HTML document. And then other little things that break your layouts like typing X instead of PX for pixels. Even as I closed out 25 different browser tabs to go to bed, I had the bones of the site probably 90% done in about two and a half hours. Sure, I could have probably done that faster in WordPress, but of course I've spent a lot more time in WordPress than I have hand coding, so I really feel like the time spent would kind of level out. The thing is though, I haven't felt a sense of accomplishment like that in this kind of web development space in some time. There's something about hand coding and looking at it and knowing that it's yours completely that is just so rewarding. The other really cool benefit about hand coding is that you're pretty much at about as little bloat as you can get because you're starting with a blank document and you're building in only the components that you need and nothing more. The entire site that I built is only 419 kilobytes, including images with just some basic image optimization. Like I already said, it's just so rewarding to see what you've put together in a completed fashion and know that you are responsible for every piece of it. With this site live, there are countless things that you still need to consider when making the case for hand coding versus WordPress. There are some things that are just inarguably better and easier to manage inside of WordPress. Things like managing your content in the media library, adding new posts and pages with a single click, the list goes on. I already touched on the fact that contact forms are a whole can of worms I didn't even want to consider in this basic HTML site, and with a plugin like Gravity Forms, it's just as simple as possible. There's other small quality of life things like smooth scroll and things like sticky position that are often handled for you in a single click inside of WordPress as opposed to having to Google and test different code and get it to work inside your HTML document. The most obvious benefit for WordPress is the visual editor component to it. 
So whether it's somebody non-technical or a client coming behind you who perhaps doesn't have the same level of expertise you do, they have the ability to edit content and images with ease across the entire site. This is often a requirement and sometimes even a selling point for most client projects and of course a scenario where WordPress absolutely excels, especially with the block editor. And perhaps most importantly of all, if there's something you need to achieve, there's probably already a plugin that exists to help you get that piece of functionality on your website. So what's the correct answer for you? Well, I think for the vast majority of us, we're not building a Facebook killer and we're not building an Amazon clone. So WordPress is really a strong and viable option in almost every standard use case. For me, I don't wanna be in the weeds of the code. I have really enjoyed writing this website and I've also really enjoyed splashing out some code as you've seen in many previous videos. But for me, that's not a burning desire to be in that code all day long. It's great to know that I can and that was part of the point of this video was to find out, can I do it and is it worth it? And the answers were, yes, I can do it and is it worth it? don't think so. I think it's worth it to do it from start to finish at least once. It gives you a new appreciation for the tools that you're working with and it really works your brain muscles in a new and really fun way. And like I said, you feel so damn proud when it's done. You did that right there, all of that, you did it. So the question really becomes, do you want to be involved in the nitty gritty of the code all day, every day? then hand coding is absolutely the answer. Can you take a hand coded site further than you can take a WordPress site? Absolutely. But there's also a reason why WordPress powers over 40% of the entire internet. That's just a mind bending stat. For me, all of the advantages and the drawbacks balanced out still equate to WordPress is the correct answer for me. I want to build fast and performant websites. And for me, that tool stack is gonna be WordPress, generate press and generate block. Now I wanna leave you with a challenge. I want you to hand code your own site and share it with me. I'm serious, this is an actual challenge. I want you to do this. Come up with something, it doesn't have to be revolutionary. It can be a personal site like I've done. It could be a simple link tree website, but do something, build it manually and get it live and show it to people and be proud of what you've done. I'm not joking when I say this is one of the most rewarding things I've done in a very long time and I challenge you to do the same thing. Spend some time over this Christmas holiday just doing something, it's a really fun Fun exercise and I promise like I already said you're gonna come away with a new appreciation for the tools that you use day in and day out so with all of that in mind tell me your current tool stack in the comments below I'd love to hear where you are and where you might be headed so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you're gonna take me up on the challenge to code your own website I really appreciate you watching this video and here and here you'll find some other videos about generate press and generate blocks you might find interesting so have a look at those and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.